Right now, thousands of dock workers are on the picket lines going on strike against the United Maritime Alliance. Workers are asking for higher pay and job security, and these strikes are happening at more than a dozen ports up and down the East Coast and along the Gulf Coast. Ports in Florida impacted by the strike include Jacksonville, Tampa, and Miami. News 6's Emily McLeod spoke to a local business and an economic strategist about what this strike could mean for people in Central Florida. As far as the delay, uh, as the supply chain gets depleted and then is needing to be replenished, that's that's the key question, and nobody knows. John Siegel owns Siegel's Clothing on Park Avenue. Right now, he says his business should be okay through the holiday season, despite the strike among thousands of union dock workers against the U.S. Maritime Alliance. Are you at all concerned about the impacts this could have? Uh, it could impact uh, a lot of different businesses. Going into the holiday season, for us personally, uh, we always get our holiday goods in considerably early. We start getting them in as early as May, and it's a consistent flow of merchandise all the way through. We're about 98% complete for our holiday shipments. Initially, it won't affect us. Down the road, who knows? Siegel says they need to see how long the strike lasts to better understand the impacts. University of Central Florida's Institute of Economic Forecasting Director, Dr. Sean Snaith, echoing a similar outlook. What are some of the impacts that we could expect here in Central Florida from a stoppage? Well, I, I think the most important uh, point to make here is that, that the impacts are really going to be directly proportional to the length of uh, of the strike. Um, you know, the, the strike for a few days or a week uh, likely is not going to have a major impact. Now, if this drags on uh, and we start talking about months, uh, then then we could start to see, you know, shortages uh, of a number of goods, uh, you know, start to manifest themselves. In, the in Orlando, Emily McLeod getting results, News 6.